we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 easiest diamonds to find in Call of the Wild in 2024. Not only are we going to look at this top 10 list, but we're also going to have a look at some tips and hotspots for all of these 10 species so that you can more easily put these 10 easier diamonds in your lodge. Now, before we head into it, guys, let me know in the comments what you think the top three easiest diamonds in the game are because we all have a different experience in the game. Also, I am going to drop a key phrase somewhere in the video. Drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one month membership to the channel and we are gonna head right into it. Coming in at number 10 on our list of top 10 easiest diamonds to find in Call the Wild is a species that resides here in Parque Fernando. It is none other than the Cinnamon Teal. Now, Cinnamon Teal go to level 3. They can make diamond at level 2 and level 3, and their diamond trophy rating is 4.6. So most of the time, you are looking for a level 3, and I actually once found three level 3 ducks on one lake. Now, that doesn't happen all the time, but it did happen once, and funny enough, I came away with only one diamond. I did get trolled by a Cinnamon Teal, so that definitely can happen. That's the only time that's ever happened to me. One of them made diamond and one of them disappeared, so I only managed to shoot two of them. But these little ducks are definitely very common diamonds. Whenever you find cinnamon teal here in Parque Fernando, you definitely want to spot every single one of them. Shoot the level twos, like this guy right here. Actually, I think it just says four when they are diamond potential. And there is one in there, but I can't see it. There it is right there. And he's on the other side and I can't shoot him. Darn! Okay, there is a diamond potential one right there. There are more across the lake right there. So cinnamon teal, since they were last updated, now can only be found on the right half of the map. Don't be looking for them over here. You are not going to find any of them, and you will find them all along the coast as well. Now I'm going to try and take this little guy down. Now I can't perfectly zero, so I'm going to use the second dot and hope that it works. I got him! I got him! Beautiful! So once you have shot your cinnamon teal, just wait for it to float right to you. It will float to where you were when you took the shot. Now one handy little tip, if you see a bunch of cinnamon teal in the distance, throw the Argus on because I'm pretty sure there's a couple on the shore there, but I can't see them with my binoculars. But this way, with the Argus, you can spot them from much further away. So they are a class one species, so you want to be hunting them with any shotgun, with birdshot, or with the Virant or the Zarza 22. Okay, here is our little buddy, and he is a gold, but he is a pretty nice big one. Cinnamon Teal have actually been one of the easiest diamonds in the game for years and years. I can remember killing just an insane amount of diamonds on Xbox. Every single time I would go to Parquet Fernando, I would come back with at least one Diamond Cinnamon Teal. So definitely be looking for those level threes and of course the Diamond Potential level twos. Coming in at number nine on our list of top 10 easiest diamonds to find in Call of the Wild now resides on three different maps. This species was added to Yukon as the backfilled species and it used to be the very best way to make cash in the game. Still is pretty good, but not the absolute best. What we are talking about is none other than the Canadian Goose. Oh, and there's a level five right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, where is my 22? He is getting away. Are you kidding? Where'd he go? There he is. There he is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. No, he's defensive. Well, that definitely proves my point that they are pretty easy diamonds. I looked up and literally find a level five. Well, I'm gonna have to change the time and get him back here because I think he is gone. Where did he go? There he is, there he is. Yeah, the chances of me getting him now are slim to none, but I'm gonna keep shooting. That is not easy. Oh my gosh. He is 474 meters away and he is gone. Well, that definitely proves my point. So Canadian geese go to level five. They can make diamond at level four and level five. And there definitely are decoys for them. And the best way to hunt them is to set up decoys and a duck blind 
can call them in and spot every single one of them because you are looking for that level four that is diamond potential or level five. Now, diamond for Canadian goose is 8.59 and you can hunt them now in Yukon Valley, in Revon Tule Coast and in Hirschfelden. Back in the day, we used to only be able to hunt Canadian geese in Hirschfelden and there is a bunch more coming in. But yeah, it's very important to spot every single one of them before you start shooting because not only are you looking for a diamond potential Canadian goose, you are also looking for different rares. And the rares for Canadian geese include light gray leucistic, bald leucistic, and melanistic. Now, brown hybrids definitely do look different. They are not rare. And sometimes it is very hard to spot them all because as you can see, it could be very chaotic with them flying all over the place. But that there, that is a lighter goose. That is a brown hybrid, I do believe. So to hunt Canadian geese, I like to use the Cacciatore 12 gauge shotgun, but you can use any shotgun with birdshot. And you can also use the Virant or the Zarza 22. And these are the very best places to hunt them in Yukon Valley. Okay, our five is up there, guys. He's up there. I just need him to land. Where is he? I did see him. There he is, there he is. Oh my gosh. Land. Is that him? Is that him? Yes! Yes! Okay, he just landed! Okay. I don't know if I could just get eyes on him. Where is he? It's gotta be in here somewhere. There he is! There he is! There he is! Okay! I think I got him! I got him! Yes! <laughs> well, that was very sweet. So, Canadian geese are definitely fairly easy diamonds, and they can troll you, though. But this one is not a troll. 8.67 and 8.59 is diamond, so he's not a huge diamond, but he is a diamond. And, ooh, we got a neck shot. That is very sweet. I'm definitely going to taxi that. But if you are looking for your first diamond or more diamonds, definitely be looking for those level 5 Canadian geese and level 4. Coming in at number 8 on our list of top 10 easiest diamonds to find in Call of the Wild can be hunted now in Leighton Lakes, in Te Awaroa, and in Silver Ridge Peaks. This species goes to level 3. It is a class 1 species and it is a little harder to find than they used to be, but they are still definitely easy diamonds. Now this species is none other than the Merriam Turkey. Now Merriam Turkeys go to level 3. They can make diamond at level 2 and level 3. So diamond for Merriam Turkey is 4.62. Their diamond trophy rating actually used to be 4.6. And when it changed to 4.62, that actually caused turkeys to troll more than they used to. So you definitely can get trolled by a diamond potential level three Merriam Turkey. But most of the time that level three is going to lead to a diamond. So when you do spot turkeys, you definitely want to spot every single one of them because you are looking for that level three. Now twos make it once in a while, not nearly as often, but you want to be looking for a max weight range turkey, which is nine to 11 kilograms or max weight in pounds is 24 pounds. Their rares include leucistic, albino, and melanistic. So definitely be checking for those rares. Now, turkeys no longer have a drink time. Basically, you need to come out to whichever map you're hunting them. If you're hunting them here in Silver Ridge Peaks, you want to be looking out in the open areas or further up when you are looking around the edges of water sources because there definitely can be just a little bit higher, about three or 400 meters back from the edge of water. Now, they are a class one species, so I like to hunt them with the Virant or the Zarza 22 or the Cacciatore 12 gauge or any shotgun with birdshot. Now you can also use the Coleman. That's another weapon option for you. But we're going to have a look at the hot spots for turkeys here in Silver Ridge Peaks. That is probably the best map to hunt them on. So basically you'll find them on the edges of the map, not so much in the center. And the areas circled in red are the hot spots. Coming in at number seven on our list of top 10 easiest diamonds to find in Call of the Wild is a relatively new species to the game. This species goes to level three. It is another class one species and can make diamond at level two and level three. 
Now this species is none other than the Capercaillie. Now I find that Capercaillies, the big ones, tend to go aggressive more than other Capercaillies do. I have actually been attacked by quite a few Diamond Capercaillies. I actually managed to shoot one with the 300. It was a level two, only to pick it up and realize that I had just ruined a diamond. I wasn't very happy that day. So definitely pay attention to their trophy ratings when they are level two. Their diamond trophy rating is 4.64 and their max weight is 5 kilograms. So any of those level 2s that go up to 5 kilograms, definitely shoot them with the correct weapon. So they are class 1. I like to hunt them with the Virant or the Zarza 22 or any shotgun with birdshot. And of course, you can use the Kalman as well. Now, Capercaillies can be hunted in Revontuli Coast. They were just added not too long ago to Medved as one of their backfield species. And I have actually shot a couple diamond capercaillies while I was doing my moose grind, I just randomly ran into them. So that definitely does say that their diamonds are fairly common. So they are definitely a great species to look for when you are looking for one of your first diamonds. So capercaillie do not have a drink time. So basically you can hunt them at any time. They're either going to be feeding or resting and they have just two different rare fur types, which are leucistic, which is rare and pale, which is actually very rare. Now I actually do have have a leucistic capercaillie, but I have never seen a pale. We're definitely going to have to hunt for one of those. So this is where you will find Caper Cali in Revontuli Coast, the yellow area being the best spot. Coming in at number six on our list of top 10 easiest diamonds to find in Call of the Wild is a species that is not a class one for once. <laughs> this animal is one of the most popular species to hunt in the game. It goes to nine legendary and can now be found on a lot of different maps. The species we are referring to is red deer. Now, when you find your first diamond red deer, you are going to be in awe. They have gigantic racks. They're absolutely beautiful. And and there are actually a variety of different diamond racks that you can find for a diamond red deer. Now we do also have great one red deer in the game. So if you do set up a great one red deer grind, you will definitely get a pile of red deer diamonds. But red deer diamonds are not that difficult to find just while you're out hunting for them. All you need to do is set the time to their universal drink time, which is from six to 10. Red deer can be hunted in Hirschfelden, in Emerald Coast, in Tiawaroa, and in Quattro Colinas and in Parque Fernando. That's five different maps you can hunt red deer on. Now, red deer are a species that cannot make diamond. Well, almost never, not never, but very, very seldom make diamond at one level below. So you are looking for a nine legendary when you are looking for a diamond. I've only seen two people ever manage to pull a diamond out of an eight mythical red deer. It is not easy to do. So generally speaking, you are looking for that nine legendary. Legendary. Now, diamond for red deer is 251.07. They're a class six species and their max weight is 240 kilograms or 529 pounds. Now, their great one max weight is 260 kilograms or 573 pounds. There is a red deer collar and red deer scent and their rares include piebald, albino, and melanistic. Now, personally, my favorite map to hunt for red deer is in Te Awaroa. This is actually the map where I have managed to spawn five red deer great ones my sixth came from quattro Kalinas, and that was actually an initial spawn great one so here we are in my red deer lodge and as i was mentioning before there are many different racks for a diamond red deer but the big rack can troll you this is actually a big rack troll the only one i have ever shot so they don't happen very often but it is possible for this rack to troll you so that is something to definitely be aware of don't celebrate when you see the rack shoot it celebrate when you see that it is actually a diamond but there are some big ones that guy is a 265 I think the biggest I've ever shot is over 270 and that is a monster red deer but red deer are definitely not the toughest diamonds in the game and they are definitely worth hunting on the five different maps that you can find them on and simply by finding all of their drink zones and checking every red deer in each of those zones there is a very good chance that you will run in to a diamond red deer. Now, Te Awaroa is my favorite map to hunt red deer on. This is where all of my drink zones are. You won't have exactly the same zones that I do, but your zones should be very similar. 
Coming in at number five on our list of top 10 easiest diamonds to find in Call of the Wild is the Besiet Ibex. Now, Besiet Ibex are definitely the easiest of all the Ibex species to hunt for. They can only be hunted here in Quattro Colinas. Now, they can make diamond at level four and level five, and their diamond trophy rating is 191.63. Now, as you can see by the size of a level three, that when you do find a diamond, it is going to be absolutely enormous. So that's a level three there. There's a level four and it only goes up to 172. So when you find a level five, it is probably going to take your breath away. Now, Besiet Ibex are a class four species. So I like to hunt them with the Zarza 308, but you can use any four to eight rifle. Their max weight is 110 kilograms or 242 pounds. Now they drink from 10 to 14. All of the Ibex in Quattro drink at the same time. They all have that 10 to 1400 drink time. And their rare fur types include albino and melanistic. Now, basically, to know where they drink, this is Basit Mountain right here. So you need to check all of the water sources around this mountain. So we were finding them up here. They'll be at probably these two lakes here, along this piece of river, and at this lake right here. Now, this lake used to be an insane hotspot. There definitely will still be some Basit here, but it isn't the crazy hotspot that it once was. But those are all the good spots for Basit. If you go in you check all of them on your map, there is a very good chance that you do have a diamond besiege walking around right now. Coming in at number four on our list of top 10 easiest diamonds to find in Call of the Wild is the Gemsbok. Now, Gemsbok can only be hunted in Verhonga Savanna. They are one of these species that are very interesting. Now, finding a level five diamond Gemsbok is next to impossible, but finding a level four or level five female diamond Gemsbok is one of the more common diamonds in the game. Kind of ironic, isn't it? Now, Gemsbok are a class eight species, so you can hunt them with any seven to nine. My preferred weapon is the 300, but you can use the 7mm, the 338, or you can, because they are class 8, use any 4 to 8 rifle. Their diamond trophy rating is 337.59, and female level 4s actually make diamond way more than level 5s do in this particular species, which is very interesting. Now, males have the big V in their horns, and females, their horns run parallel to each other, so you can tell which sex they are from just looking at the their horns. Their max weight is 240 kilograms or 529 pounds. Now they drink from three to six, so they do mainly drink in the dark, which is a little bit unfortunate, but just going to all the hot spots for Gemsbok in Savannah, there is a good chance that you will come away with a diamond Gemsbok. Now their collar is the Antler Rattler, and you can also use the Snortwee's collar, even though Gemsbok is not listed, it definitely does work to call them in. And the rares for Gemsbok include dark, beige, and gold. Now, this is where all of my Gemsbok drink zones are. You won't have exactly the same zones that I do, but you should definitely have Gemsbok in the same areas, and that should help you to find all of your drink zones and hopefully a diamond. Coming in at number three on our list of top 10 easiest diamonds to find in Call of the Wild is a species found only in Silver Ridge Peaks. Now, this species is one of the best to grind for for cash. They pay really, really well, and they definitely are one of the more common diamonds in the game. This species is none other than the mountain lion. Now, mountain lions drink in the dark now. They drink from zero to three, which is very unfortunate. I did like it a lot better when they used to drink during the day, but it is what it is. But still, finding a nine legendary mountain lion is not that difficult to do. Basically, head to just about every lake in Silver Ridge Peaks. They can be on any water source. You want to take your Gen Zero binoculars with you so that you can see it dark and you want to spot every single mountain mountain lion. Now, it is supposed to be possible for eight mythicals to make diamond. I, however, have never ever seen anyone come away with an eight mythical diamond mountain lion. But if you have, definitely let me know in the comments. Now, their diamond trophy rating is 39, so definitely pay attention to their trophy rating when you do spot a nine. And they definitely can troll you. Their max weight track is 105 kilograms or 231 pounds, and they do have a collar, which is the distressed fawn collar. Their rear include albino and melanistic. Unfortunately, gray is just an uncommon color, so it is definitely not a rare. Now, mountain lions are a class five species, so you can use any four to eight rifle. I like to use the 
Zarza 308 or the FL Sporter 303, but any 4 to 8 will give you integrity when you are hunting for mountain lions. You know, once I was hunting in Silver Ridge Peaks with a friend of mine, Rebecca, and we were racing to the first diamond, and the very first lake I went to, I found a diamond mountain lion, which was hilarious because I was like, okay, competition's over, stream's over, literally two minutes into the stream. That night, I managed to come away with two diamond mountain lions and Rebecca came away with one. That's a lot of diamond mountain lions, so that really does show how common a diamond mountain lions are. One of the most common diamonds in the entire game. Coming in at number two on our list of top 10 easiest diamonds to find in Call of the Wild actually resides on our newest map to come to the game, Emerald Coast. Now this species is a class nine species. It is one of the best to grind for cash in the game and it is definitely one of the easiest diamonds. The species I am referring to is the Bantang. Now Bantang can make diamond at level 4 and level 5 and I actually have 6 diamond Bantang and 5 out of 6 of them were actually level 4s. I had 4 diamond Bantang before I even spotted my very first level 5. That is kind of hilarious. Now Bantang are a class 9 species so I like to hunt them with the 300 but you can also use the 7mm or the 338 and the best time to hunt them is early in the morning when they are out here feeding. They they do have a drink time. These are one of those rare species where it is actually better to hunt them in their feed zone than in their drink zone. And the reason for that is the only places that they drink are these couple of lakes and they do drink along the coast. The problem being that you're lucky to find them there because the crocs spook them out. So coming up here around eight in the morning, there are all kinds of feed zones. I like the seven to 10 one in particular. When you do spot a level four Bantang, pay attention and see whether their diamond trophy rating falls within the estimate and that number is 137. My son, who is a brand new player, shot his very first diamond Bantang yesterday, and he wasn't even trying. He had no idea that it was a diamond until he picked it up. He was just grinding for cash. He shot every single Bantang in the herd, went to pick him up, and picked up a diamond. That definitely shows what an easy diamond Bantang are. They're really not that difficult. Now, the best places to find them are, I like to go to this outpost and then this area all all in here make your way down basically the inside of the coast all the way down and then also down here all around this outpost down here those are the best places to find them now if you do want to hunt them in their drink zone they drink from 17 to 20 and I actually when I'm hunting crocs prefer to hunt them after 1700 because I can find crocs and bantang along the coast after 1700 and red fox who share the same drink time and sandbar deer also drink from 17 to 20 three different species in Emerald Coast. Drink from 17 to 20. I love it when they double up or triple up on drink times. It just makes hunting way more efficient. Now the rares for Bantang include Albino and Melanistic and I don't have any of their rares yet so I definitely need to go out and find some. Now they are also amazing for cash. The reason why is because not only do they pay well but they are pretty slow moving so when you do spook them you can just run along beside them and ping them off one by one and then pick them up and get paid. But if you are looking for your very first diamond, I would highly recommend going out to Emerald Coast and hunting for Banting. Coming in at number one on our list of top 10 easiest diamonds to find in Call of the Wild is the Blue Wildebeest. Now, when I take viewers out on a guided hunt and we've been hunting for quite a while and we still haven't found anything yet, we jump over to Verhonga Savannah and we hunt for Blue Wildebeest. The reason we do that? Because we almost always come away with the Diamond Wildebeest. Wildebeest are one of these species where you will find more diamonds in a level four than you do in a level five. If you would like to find a quick and easy diamond, head out to Savannah. Now, wildebeest can be found at all of these inside lakes. You won't find any along the coast, but the best spots for wildebeest are this lake right here and the twin lakes over here. But all these inside lakes definitely will have wildebeest drinking. This is a really good one top right as well. You want to shoot every wildebeest level four or level five that goes up to 290 kilograms or 639 pounds. Now, you will notice level 
level fours that go up to 265 kilograms. Even if their trophy estimate shows that they are diamond potential, they cannot make diamond. They have to go up to 290 kilograms or 639 pounds in order to make diamond. But if you just go and you find all of your wildebeest drink zones and spot every single wildebeest out of every single herd, shoot all the level fours that go up to 290 kilograms and you will come away with a diamond wildebeest. Now their diamond trophy rating is 37.69 and their max weight is 150 kilograms or 331 pounds. They drink from six to nine and they do have one collar and that is the buck snort wheeze collar. And there are only two rares for wildebeest. There is crown, which you can only find in females and there is albino as well. But once during a guided hunt, we hunted this lake right here. Now all of these drink zones will be wildebeest and we came away with three diamond wildebeest on this one lake and a super rare duck. <laughs> so hilarious but that's how common they are they are really really very easy diamonds and i have just a pile of them so if you're looking for your very first diamond i would highly recommend more than any other species in the game that you head to savannah and hunt for blue wildebeest now let's have a look at their hot spots so this is where all of my drink zones are for wildebeest now you won't have exactly the same zones that i do but the best lakes are this lake right here on the left and the twin lakes and remember you're looking for that level four or five that goes up to 290 kilograms. So since we're in the lodge, this is a crowned wildebeest and that is an albino. But I do have a few honorable mentions for easy diamonds that didn't quite make my list. Sometimes it's very difficult to put them in any particular order, but also on the list of fairly easy diamonds would be Cape Buffalo, Fallow Deer, and White-tailed Deer. Now my best advice if you wanted to go and find any of these species, for example, if you wanted to find a diamond whitetail, what I would recommend that you do is change the time to whitetail drink time, which on most whitetail maps is from eight to 12. And and then head out and check all of the water sources where whitetail can drink. Go to my Discord and open up a hotspot map so you know where that is. So this is a map for whitetail zones right here for Revon Thule. That's my favorite map for whitetail. So go to all of the water sources on the top 80% of the map and spot every single whitetail in every single herd. There is a very good chance that you will come away with a level three or even a level two diamond whitetail. You just need to know their diamond trophy which is 255.09 and if that falls within the estimate make sure you take a good shot on that white tail and eventually you will come away with a diamond white tail but let me know in the comments guys what your easiest diamond has been in the game I would love to know that and thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video click right here for secrets to finding way more diamonds in call of the wild